<laughs> this is, once again, the idea of right and wrong, good and bad. There's always going to be chaos. There's always going to be destruction. You can remain in that realm as long as you want. Ain't nobody mad at you. Right? There's nothing to sell here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing to sell here. There's nothing to agree with or disagree with here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can do whatever you want to do. Now, once again, as a creator being, your perspective can only be right. Your perspective can only be right. You can say whatever you want, even illusions. You can say, no, I'm, um, this, is, this is the truth for me. And it's like, hey, you're right. No, because we need to take over and... Uh, purify our genes because the, uh, the such and such people trying to take us down and just to, to, you right you right you right go ahead once again regardless of what your perspective is you right there's nobody to argue with you it's your reality that's your reality if that's the, the reality that you desire and that's the point you're attempting to prove, then you can, you can exist in that for as long as you want. Yeah, they're trying to enslave us and they're trying to take us down and they're trying to this, 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 this. You, well, you right. You right. Go on, go on ahead. They're trying to take you down. Go on ahead. Do what you do. What you, do. you right. Ain't nobody going to argue with you. You are absolutely correct. That is what you will experience. That, that, is what, that is what you will continue to experience. You're a victim. They did this to you. They did that to you. They're trying to take you down. They're trying to take you out. They're trying to uh, take, take the genes and uh, <laughs> whatever. All, you right. And you can live in that as long as you want. As long as you want. If that's the, the reality that you prefer, so be it, beloved. Knock yourself out. Absolutely, it's a free will choice. If that's your reality and you want to fight the, um, fight the good fight and fight for freedom and fight for justice and fight for equality and fight for this and fight for that, knock yourself out. Enjoy. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna argue with you. <laughs> now, once again, there's a difference in between truth and illusion. And you can exist in the illusion and still be right. Yeah, no, you can exist in the illusion and still be right. No, you're right. That's the nature of your illusion. No, you're right. But that don't necessarily mean it's the truth. Yeah, you can be right as you want to be. Um, due to the lineage and ancestors and, you know what I mean? Once again, uh, it's on you. You're right. But it just, it's still an illusion. For, you, for who you are as source, your perspective can only be right. And that perspective can only be had by you. You're right. So who do you want to be in all of this? Who do you want to be in all of this, beloved? Do you want to be the one fighting for what you see is right? 
or accepting all your experiences beyond expectation where divine order beyond comprehension is acknowledged and respected. Divine order beyond all logical comprehension is acknowledged and respected. That's your choice. That's a matter of spiritual maturity. That's a matter of how sophisticated you are as a whole, as a soul, to see the, from the perspective of the greater whole. To step outside of your physical body, from your frame of reference, and be able to see from a, a, a greater vantage point, like the hawk flying in the sky, looking down on humanity, being able to see far off into the distance what's on the horizon. To see the greater picture, to see the bigger picture. What part do you play in the physical body amongst the multitude? We talk about third eye vision, being able to see from a greater perspective the bigger picture. To see what God sees. To see from the realms of heaven down on the earth amongst the, um, the many dramas of division and the society, the social stance of, amongst the species. To see from the greater, larger perspective. Now you can choose to be in your body and experience life from this particular perspective. But once again, as an awakened soul, you recognize who you are beyond the body as the creator of the entirety of the experience, as the author of the story. From the bigger picture and the part that you play in this particular body. Do you see the bigger picture from the larger perspective? 